So now let's see if we can actually code up an example problem. So for this example, suppose that somebody has given us an ordered list of test scores. Um, then what we are going to do is to produce a list associating each score with a particular rank. Um, starting with rank 1 for the highest score and going on down. Equal scores should have the exact same rank to it. And so now the question is, how can we actually do this? And so let's go over to idle and see if we can solve this particular problem. Now suppose that somebody has given us a an ordered set of scores and so they say those test scores are going to be equal to oh how about 86, 86, 92, how about a 77, 75, 73, 73, 65, 73, 68, 73, and maybe somebody does really poorly and we have a 12 in there. And so that's our set of scores. Maybe they're indexed by students. Maybe they're indexed by test scores. I don't know. We're not given that information. But all we know is this is an ordered list, and so it's important for it to stay in that order. And so let's say that we want to do this. Let's save this as a um, test score problem 2. Okay, so we save that as <clears throat> a file, and now let's see what happens. So we want to um, give a rank for each one of these scores. Well, one thing that we can do is to say, all right, well, it would help if these things were in some kind of order. And so I've got a function that does that. If I just did test score dot sort, then that's going to give me um, a, a sorted list but the thing is the sorted list it's going to sort it in place and so my I'm going to lose my original order and so what I need to do is not sort that I need to make a temporary copy so let's say that um, my test score temporary one um, let's make a copy so test score um, I'm not copy. So I make a copy of that. Now I'm free to sort this one any way that I want to and it won't interfere with the original copy. And so if I do test score dot sort, let's see what happens. So now let's print um, our test score and let's print our sorted values. Okay, so let's see what those look like. And so that's going to give us a set of scores here that we're seeing. So my original scores and then my sorted scores. Now they are sorted in reverse order. And so, or not the order that I wanted. So let's see if we can fix that. We can sort um, reverse equal to true. So for the way that we wanted. So now if we run it, let's see what happens. And now our test scores are sorted from largest value to smallest value. Um, now that's going to, let's see what happens now. So our ranks are actually going to be based on whatever unique values that we have kind of in this sorted list. And so one question might be, well, how do we get um, only the unique values out of that? Um, we can do that with the set command okay with the set method and so if we just do um, if we do something like over here just so maybe you can see what that is let's see print as a set TS okay so I don't need those now so if I print as a set TS so that's my temporary sorted scores then what happens I get only the unique values out of that so if, um, I get this particular set and now um, not necessarily in my order anymore I've just dropped all the unique values I've only got the unique values I don't have the order anymore and so one thing that we could do um, we make a copy 
So let's say that our test scores now, um, let's not do our sort here. Let's say test scores equal the set of TS. And actually we can turn that into a list. Okay, so now we're still dealing with our list. So now we've got our test scores. Okay, so now this should be a list again. Let's check it and see. Yes, it returns us a list. And from there we can sort. in reverse order so if we set it now and we've got now our unique test scores um, sorted from largest power to smallest power and so now 92 is going to be a rank 1 86 is rank 2 77 is rank 3 and so on and so on all the way down and so our range that we have so what would our actual ranks be so our ranks we're just going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, just in that ascending order. So now our ranks, um, one thing that we can do, because we want to come back up here and eventually assign a rank for each one of those scores, is it would be nice if we had some mechanism that if we could put in um, a score, then it would return the rank that corresponds to that. And so we can do that with dictionaries. So what we what we can do now is then let's form a dictionary. Um, so let's do rank hash, and that will be a dictionary. And now for let's do a list. And so now let's do a for loop. So for each. Um, score in um, our TS we will do a, um, a rank hash of that score will be equal to oops need to need my starting score so my starting score um, rank equals 1 is my rank and then as I increment there so I can do rank and it will increment one time each time I go through this and so I end up with a rank hash that's going to be a dictionary of my particular scores so let's see what the rank is going to the rank hash is going to look like print rank hash of that. So now let's see what happens. So now our score of 92 is a value of 1. Our score of 86 is a value of 2. Our score of 77 is a value of 3. Our score of 73, um, our score of 75, 75 is a value of 4, 73 is a value of 5, and so on and so on. And so now we've got a dictionary relating our scores to what their particular ranks are. Now if we want to turn that into a list that parallels our test score list with our ranks, well now that's going to be fairly easy. So we can do for our score in, whoops, and say final ranks um, that's going to be a list and for score in our test score we want to do final rank um, dot append and we want to put in our rank hash of our score value okay and so that will append there in, in each order and so now if we print our test scores and we print our final rank, then we should have this index. Let's see what happens. 
So 86 was our second rank, second rank. 92 was rank 1, 77 was rank 3, and we can see that we have those scores kind of in order, and so our code that actually solves that particular problem looks something like this. We don't really need that anymore. And so somebody can give us a set, fixed set of scores. Um, we essentially will make a copy of that so we're not messing up our original data. We can get the unique values. So what happens from that? So let's kind of document this a little bit. So we have a copy of our um, ordered test scores. Then what does this command do? This command will return a list of the unique test scores. And then we can um, sort the unique scores from largest to smallest. Now we form a dictionary between scores and ranks. And finally, we do a, um, a new ranking, do a new ranking list um, with ranks corresponding to um, do a new ranking list um, corresponding to the original test scores. Okay, so that's what it is. And then finally, we print out our results. And so with that, somebody can give us a list of test scores. Um, we'll make copies. We'll find the unique values. We'll form this dictionary between our test scores and our unique test scores, and then um, form the ranking value from that. And so um, with this, uh, this should answer the problem that we we're given. Hope you've enjoyed this video and so if you have enjoyed it then like it down below. If you've got questions leave those in the comment section and I will see you guys next time.